Oh man. It was on the fourth floor. It was on the fourth floor. It should be on the second floor, third floor. Maybe I'm crazy. It is the third floor. I thought it was over here. Maybe it's be the science fucking bullshit. It goes up a floor. That's the fail. Okay, never mind. Never mind. It must be fourth floor. The school's design is retarded. Um, is it here? Yes. Yes, it is. I'm right here. Yo, did you have your eye on the cam loud too? Make sure you just don't get in my way. Yeah, I got it. But I think it means yes, sir, I understand. This is my first time seeing this shelf, but I just can't get over how big it is. Let's probably get a closer look at it. So, three shelves have been connected together to make one giant shelf. What about right now? What's that power spilled in front of the shelf? I have to be careful to step in it. And broken ball in front of the shelf. This is where the pile came from. Look at the ball label on it. Chem C4. Okay, here's something interesting. I was on the fourth floor. I was checking things out. And, put point, and at that point, this room was like this. And the powder must have been spilled. That's right. It could only have been around the time of the incident. Mm -hmm. No idea what they are. Their reagents simply put they're using the experience to bring out chemical reaction. How do you live such an ignorant how live in such ignorance for so long? It must truly be bliss. Isn't that kinda of harsh? What do you think studying science and math no practical application in the real world? Little than loser, which is supposed to see too well. I didn't even say that. Anyway, it doesn't matter right now, I need to focus on the shelf. Okay, there's a label with the uh, letter B. I guess I can say it's part of the shelf in section B. You hear it says not there too much about the shelf. It's C. On the shelf, <laughs> danger chemicals, nothing poisons, and other powerful chemicals. All the cans are shelved labeled with the C and number. I guess I could say the part of the shelf is C. <laughs> are these footprints? They're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. How do these footprints relate to the scene as a whole? We need to sketch out the floor plan. <laughs> but we, do you mean me? How kind of you to offer? Shoot on a smirk and he handed me a piece of paper and pen. Well, let's go. Chop, chop. Okay. Work before long. I've drawn up a sketch of the room. Um, so what's this? Not bad for you, I mean. For me? So when you look at it like this, interesting. It appeared that whoever this footprints only had business on the leftmost shelf. Came and went straight for that shelf. They did whatever they had to do and left. That's what the footprints tell me. I see. These footprints must be. Okay, are they yours? No. What? Let me see your shoes. I'm confirming the size for myself. It said, I see your feet do appear too big. Unfortunately, I must admit these are not your footprints. Unfortunately, but with how clear these footprints are, it must be quite easy to determine who they do belong to. Clue. On the shelf. What kinds of siblings in the different missions? Pretty drink you found you can park it from the shelf. With A, a number. I guess I can see this part shelving. Okay. But wait. Don't bother us now with Clem 9. Could someone have put it here on accident? Should I find more about the shelving unit? It looks like it's split into three sections. Is the agent the chemicals? As soon as section A, there is a bottle labeled as section C. Poison section C doing in section A. Something going on here. On the shelf, add it to your thing. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered across the floor. Better not leave a footprint. Probably take a good hard look at that powder. There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. 
The bottle looks like the bottle of the Count C. They saw the footprints in the powder. There's an the left side of the shelf. According to the back of the powder, would have been spilled right around the time of the incident. So I can tell for now. In the rec room. Back to the rec room. Yeah, let's leave the area. Let's get the fuck out of here. Where's the rec room? Is the rec room here? Is it downstairs one? <laughs> it must be downstairs. Doom, 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 doom. Rec room, rec room, that's all the way over here. Somewhere over here. Right here. <laughs> There's a broken window on it now. Hey. Yeah, how's your investigation going? I told you to turn here, tell me. Let's see. They both climb in and they didn't go see her. Thought being someone must be lying. Someone's lying? Well, surprise my own. So he's buying the shelf magazines and the monthly bottles. And the new clues. You wanna cut them over one more time? So I'm not sitting. Zip. There's a bottle. Yes. I'm gonna discover his body. Just, no, the space isn't gonna help you figure anything out. Well, I, I know, but. To examine the body? I'm gonna get around to it. They recall the thought of touching a dead body. She's completely emotional. I think I've grown perversely used to. Although, there's still some. sometimes. I can't believe how calm you are. No matter how many times I see a dead body, I can't get used to it. True. That's totally normal. And how can you? It matters because I had plenty of opportunities to touch dead bodies in the past. What? Sorry, never mind. More important, look here. Her shoes. See that yellow pile on her stand step? There it is, turns out. The pile is a clean number one. She's bullets. Go in your head, look carefully. See, even telling you that is an incredibly difficult spot, so let me explain. Appear that she didn't suffer a single blow, but instead received two blows to the head. Two blows? Dude. When you say that there's more interesting thing, both her hands are spotless. There's absolutely no trace of blood in either one. It's true. So that's what I learned from examining your body in detail. <laughs> Alright. It's from the magazine shelf. I'm gonna send up blood screens or something else she died. Uh, we're back up to go, Jesus. I made some progress. My own. So we buy a shelf of magazines and the Makuma Makuma bottles. Shelf magazines themselves? So, hmm, clue clue. This magazine's upside down. So I'm gonna put back that way an accident? Some catches your eyes. Important for you to explore that in detail. You think? Yeah, you're right. We're gonna flip through it. This is the pages near the center of the magazine. The word written in blood, blood letters. It said Toko. Could this be a dying message? Correct. Then it appear you found it. Kyoko, is it? This is. So... It's a dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. A dying message. To be clear, I'm not the one who put it back upside down. It was really the one I found a little while ago. I just should put it back the way I found it. For benefit of those, they might become looking. Hey, is that? This is Toko, right? Yeah, it looks like it. And she's the killer, right? Well, it hasn't been confirmed yet. So, she's the killer for sure. It's conclusive evidence, right? We can use it to kill the killer. See why you would think that, but it just seems too easy. If anything, it makes me think more, more suspicious. Magazine dying message has been added to the truth bulletin. Mm. 
I guess I can find you clean vault and look at my bells. I need something new. Hmm. Hey. So, did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the balls. Pay care for things in the street to find it. A correlation? There's two balls missing. You just tell me what it is. So... I don't mind guiding you towards conclusion, but giving you my conclusion isn't a good idea. Each person needs to come to their own conclusion, so everyone can find it. Right? No answer. I do trust you to agree, otherwise I wouldn't have told you anything to be with. I'm not sure I agree. Hey. Actually, there's one other thing about the Mako balls that's bothering me. This is an experiment to figure, confirm it. Do you mind helping me? Experiment? Anyway. You get up all through all of the broken pieces and cool out smaller pieces too? Are you sure? Can't mess the cards like that? that I've already done the through my association, so it's up to fine. No, no, the burger's not here, so. Alright. Need something from the cam lab. We're going. Try to get out the pieces of all the glass. <clears throat> Just that, uh, better to do it. Took the broom, dustpan, got the work, collecting all the broken little pieces. Ball pieces. Just as I finished up, that's why I keep you waiting. Is everything ready? Let's get to work. What kind of experiment are you doing? In other words, yeah, let's the cam lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. To what? As you go up, the one of the Makoba is still intact. Do that. That's the point of the It makes sense when we're done. Because two bottles are missing, dude. Dummy. First, compare the weight of the two normal Makuna bottles. It's balanced. In other words, it means each Kuna weighs about the same. Which makes sense. Both well, things are basically the same and nothing else to really affect the weight. And here's the important part. Pull the pieces you picked on one side of the scale. Let me see. No, so it'd be, it'd be balanced out while the pieces would be a little lighter. Get them all, but there's a chance I could have missed some and you're in there. It's okay, it's a good try. Huh? Broken pieces are heavier. How is that possible? I knew it. Just as I thought. What? We both have experience in the correlation between each of the bottles and put the little together. You you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. So what do you think? It's all on you. Ding dong bing bong. Ding dong bing bong. Whoa, that's racist. All right. Ding dong, bing bong. Mark him up. Oops. You me sleeping. Your investigation was just so boring. I couldn't stay awake. Oof. Very nice, man. Should I do it? Is it okay? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? It's fine. Let's begin the class trial. You know where to meet, right? Yes. Please go through the red door on the first floor. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Yeah, it's our time, but the mystery of the locked door is still in the half solved. But whatever happens will happen in the class trial. <laughs> All right. And then began me up another, and then, then martial artist, a locked room murder mystery. What? What the? I only discovered the power of emoticons. No matter how awful something is, if you toss a smiley face, it turns positive. For example, your opinion you find a dead body, XD. It's just plain creepy. Oh, the reverse. You know how great something is, you put a sad face, it makes it look super negative. Yes, For example, do you have a hundred friends? He's right, that's made it seem sad. And then please get on the elevator. Mm. See y'all down there, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> well, What the hell was that? Mm. I don't get it. I don't get you guys. Except so casual to murder someone. D don't look at me. I don't think I'm acting casual. Me. I mean, I didn't murder anyone. I'm completely innocent. How dare you call me a murderer? Whatever. Hmm. Yeah, but the whole truth will be filled soon enough. Because there's no doubt one of us is the culprit. Where's Sakura? She was stronger than anyone I know. It's on killed her. 